I'm going to show you how to use our face mould to make a boy's head. This is marzipan. That looks about the right size to use. I've coloured it with peach and pink. I've kneaded it and rolled it into a ball until it's smooth. If you want to use the nose that's in the mould, just pinch and make a point. You don't have to do this if you're going to add a different nose on afterwards. Now that point goes into the nose like that. Now I know I haven't got to press hard because everything is in place. If you want the neck, you push down into the neck, pinch and push down into the ears. And again, the other side, just pinch and press down. Now, just make sure it's not going over the edge of the mould anywhere and it's a nice shape at the back. That is now ready to come out. So we just turn that over and it comes out. I'm just gonna push the ears back a little bit. At this stage, you can alter the face, which I'll show you in one of the other films that I make. This has been colored with pink, pink and peach. You can add brown for a darker skin color to this color. I've rubbed some pink powder color really well into my brush and I'm just going to brush that onto the cheeks and build the color up gradually. It's better to do it slowly and add a little at a time than to put too much on that you can't take off. Okay, so now I'm going to paint with some isopropyl alcohol and white powder colour, paint the eyes in. If you haven't got this, you can use vodka or gin, or again, you can use water, but it will take longer to dry. So you just rest your hands on the table and paint in the eyes, nice and big and bright. I'm not going to put a colour into the eye, I'm going to go straight onto the black with this face. But if you look at some of the other films, you'll see that I've used a colour as well. So again, just a little bit of alcohol mixed into the lid. If you mix in the lids, then you can just keep reusing the colour over and over again. Then paint in the eyes. Like I said before, nice, big and bright. As the colour dries, if it doesn't look quite strong enough, you can go over it again if you want to. Then for the eyelashes, this time use water because the alcohol will dry. On such a fine, thin brush, the alcohol will dry too quickly for you to be able to paint with it. Now that brush will follow the outline of the eye and flick out. And the same there, I've just turned it round so I can see what I'm doing and just paint a little line underneath. When I'm doing a boy's face, I don't put eyelashes underneath. I just do eyelashes at the top. And then a little bit of water again into the brown to paint the eyebrows. And with the boys, you can give them thicker, heavier eyebrows than the girls as well. And then what finishes that off is just a touch of water mixed with your white powder to paint dots of white into the eyes. That brightens them up and brings them to life. Now at this stage you would make a hole in the, in the bottom of the neck here, up into the head, to attach it to a support in the figure that you've made. But for this video I'm just going to attach the head to a little board here to show you how to pipe the hair. You would always attach the body before you pipe the hair on. This is royal icing and a 42 nozzle. You can get them from PME. It's a very fine rope nozzle. So the teeth help to give the effect of hair. So you would pipe all round the head and then across. I usually start at the lower half of the head work my way round and then do the top half of the head. I just need to roll this bag down a little bit and then start to pipe the hair at the top. This one face mould, there's five different sizes and it's suitable for making babies faces, men, women, boys, girls, whatever you want. And there's our little boy.